So, you know, beliefs, our beliefs are one of the easiest things to change. In fact, we change them all the time when we get new information and so on and so forth. But our really ingrained beliefs, you know, the ones that were programmed into us, if you like, when we were kids, are the ones that stick and sometimes um, can start uh, informing our adult decisions. So what... One of the things I love about my work as a hypnotherapist is the journey of discovery. It takes me on every single day. And I've just been on such a discovery with a lovely client of mine. And uh, we, I was saying, you know, your conscience, is there a belief in there somewhere? And um, as often happens, I start telling a little story from my own life to explain what I'm trying to get to. And I think it was the story that I loved so much today. And I'd love if you would share one story from your past that you now realize has um, given you a belief. So when I was little, I think I must have been about six or seven, we lived in a tenement in Northfield in Aberdeen. And there was a big backy, as we called it, with a high red wall and all the kids there were new tenements and we all moved in there we were all about the same age and uh, we uh, used to go you know go out and play in the backy all day and in those days it actually wasn't uncommon for kids to pee in the street you know mothers would be seen all the time even in the middle of union street picking their kids up you know from under the legs and letting them have a pee into the gutter i mean Goodness knows they'd probably get done for some sort of abuse or another these days. But in that days, it was common. You did not bother going up the two flights of stairs into your flat. You just had a pee in the backy. So this day I wanted to have a pee. But I didn't really, most of the kids in my tenement were boys and I didn't want to have a pee in front of the boys. So I went out of the backy and hid behind the red wall and fair enough I was hiding from all the kids but I didn't really think about the fact that I was now facing the main road as I squatted down and pulled down my knickers to have a pee a bobby came along on his bike and yes in those days there were also um bobbies on their bike and he had the you know the bicycle clips on his trousers and I went when I saw the bobby like Oh, the Bobby's caught me about to have a pee. And this Bobby, bless him, said to me, pee, lassie, pee. <laughs> Honestly. And those, mind, those words are still in my mind to this day. So, you know, those moments when you're out in a walk and you're with some friends and, okay, you've walked six feet, but feet or more away from them but you're still that little bit self-conscious and you kind of have to push a little bit to get yourself going I still have that Bobby saying to me pee lassie pee he gave me permission to pee in the great outdoors I want to thank him so that that's a little belief that I won't be changing because it served me well. I've never had I've never been one of those people that's had to go about bursting when I'm on a walk. I just take down my trousers and pee lassie pee. But there'll be other thoughts in your mind. They can be good or bad. Let's have a bit of a laugh. Why don't you share them? Put something in the comment box below and uh Tell us a little bit about your mind and your conscience. <laughs> Thank you for listening.